Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Welcome to the Kevy Shaves bathroom, also known as the Kevy Shaves nut house. <laughs> it's, uh, it's nice to be here. It's the weekend, it's time for a shave. Um, boy, do I need it. Yeah, uh, today's shave is a complete random mishmash of products. There's nothing matches. Um, and I can guarantee you that those of you who are at the Big Shave Southwest um, this weekend, I can guarantee you that none of these products will be featured there. So welcome to my own Big Shave Southwest, kind of, even although I'm in the Northeast. But that doesn't matter. Uh, let me show you the razor. Um, now, there's a couple of people had commented, left a comment saying, can you use this? Can you try that? Uh, and if I have things or if I haven't used things in a while, I always try and remember. I don't always remember, uh, but I always try to remember. So uh, Mick, Mick Allen, Mick Allen uh, has asked for me to, if I could use a Yaki razor and a Yaki brush. Uh, Mick has two brushes and one razor. So I'm going to use a Yaki razor and here it is. This is the double open comb. Uh, this is a quite a long handle, good way to, this is the Grace Diamond Twinkle handle. Uh, excellent knurling on it there, you can see it. Uh, and under there it says DLC Yaki, if you can see that. Yeah, I've not, I've not used these razors for quite a while. Uh, it's a three piece, comes apart like that, as I say, good weight, it's finished in like a gunmetal. Uh, there's the head and stuff there. Uh, the blade I'm going to be putting in that, a blade, I think I've used these before, but not for a while. Uh, Dorco Titan, I just seen that and it, this kind of jumped out at me, so I thought, okay. I've not used them in a while, so let's uh, use them. Uh, Dorco, since 1955, made in Vietnam, manuf manufactured under license from Dorco, Korea. If that will focus, there you go. So let's uh, open this. Nice blue wrapper. There's the blade there, Dorco Titan. I'll just put that on the razor, like so. Yeah, there's that um, DLC Yaki. Yeah, um, I don't see many people using these razors now, uh, although the brushes have really taken off, but there is there, there's the, the blade inside that. A little bit overhang at the edges there, but very nice. Yeah, nice weight to this. Fantastic grip, great knurling. Um, I like this long handle. Um, yeah, it just feels nice. So that's the razor. Uh, the brush is, uh, because Mick asked for a yucky brush, is this Barber Pole synthetic yucky brush, 24, 24 millimeter. Very soft, like a kind of brown, and then white tips. Yeah, great brushes, yucky brushes. And uh, there's the handle there. As you can see, very nice. I'll put links to everything in the description. Now, the cream I'm going to be using today. Um, let me just say, Chris Kelly, I'm just looking at notes here so I remember. Chris Kelly uh, left a comment saying, have you ever tried this cream from Bulgaria called Capo or Capo? Uh, I said, I've never tried it. I looked on eBay, I found some and it was very cheap, so uh, I bought some. Let me show you the ingredients. Uh, I think it's there, where are we? I think it's there in English. You can pause that there. Yeah, uh, but most of this is written in Bulgarian, so um, here's the tube here, same as that. Um, yeah, so that's that. Okay, let me uh, wet the face. I'm not gonna bowl lather. I'm just gonna put the cream straight into the brush. Yeah, I, um, Chris, Chris Kelly said that this cream is very good. He tried it. Can you hear <laughs> Riley growling? Oh, he's vicious. <laughs> yeah, so I'll wet the brush. Uh, there's the back of the tube. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, so I'll just put some cream in there, right into the brush. 
that's quite a good, uh, if you can see that, that's quite a good shine to it, which is always good. And then I'll just start painting it on the face and creating the lather from that. The scent is, uh, kind of smells eucalyptus, I think. Yeah, I have no idea how this will perform, so um, Chris did say it was good, so Chris, if this is rubbish and I get cut, it's your fault. <laughs> Okay, I'll just uh, dip the tips of the brush. Yeah, there's lots of different ways you can uh, create a lather from cream. Lots of people bowl lather with cream, so I, I usually do that, but I just thought I'd do something different today. Dipping the tips again. A thirsty cream. But filled in a nice lather. Dip the tips again. Look at that, it's exploded. Very good. Yeah, it has a nice um I think I'm smelling eucalyptus. Quite nice, quite a light scent, but I just add a little bit more water. Yeah, I think um, I got this on eBay. I think it was something like. I want to say something like three pounds. Very cheap. That was a nice lather. Very nice. Just a little bit more water, just to get that. Final shine on it, yeah, it does have a nice sheen to it, you can see. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna get a little uh, cleaned up before we start. Cleaned up here, cleaned up here. have a great shine to it, very nice. Okay, let's get going with the uh, this, uh, that. That's the, the Yaki double open comb with the Dorco Titan. Okay, here we go. Great feedback. Yeah, this does have uh, a little bit of overhang. Overhang, which just means uh, the blade sticking out the side there, as you can see. Like, so you just need to be careful. This looks um, more aggressive than it is. It's actually quite a quite a mild razor. Cream, I tell you. Yeah, so it's the weekend. So what? What are you? What are you up to this weekend? Are you planning a barbecue? The weather here is. Uh, it's okay. It's bright. We've had a, a couple of showers. 
Um, it's been okay. It's not exactly warm, but it's not cold, so it's nice. Uh, yeah, so what are your plans? Barbecue? Maybe you're at the, the Big Shave Southwest. This is a very, very comfortable shave. So far. Yeah, I remember, um, I was just thinking about the weekends, what I used to do when I was a kid. Um, my dad used to work uh, Saturday mornings and um, he would come home, he would finish about midday and in the, when there wasn't any football on or soccer, um, like in the summer, he would, uh, he would come home from work He would get cleaned up, uh, get a bite to eat. And then he would take us, either me and my sister, or me and my friends, there was usually about six or seven of us, we would all pile in the car uh, and head at about 40 minutes, there was a beautiful big park with waterfalls and stuff like that. and. Uh, we used to go there with my dad um, and uh, I'll tell you all about it in the second pass. One little weeper there, but that feels good. I'll let me rinse and I'll come back to the story, okay? I'll uh, be back in a minute. Okay, nicely rinsed off. Look at this. Yeah, cream from uh, Bulgaria. I don't know how people find these kind of creams and stuff. What, do they go there on holiday then? Walk into a chemist and just kind of see this and try it and... It's quite good actually. Yeah, it's not uh, dissipating, it's lathered well. Nice. Cushion and slickness and very nice. Yeah, right. Where was I? Yeah, we used to, um, me and my pals, um, like there was a little gang of us. <laughs> uh, sometimes my sister and the dog, the dog would all me and the, we would all pile in my dad's car and he would drive us uh, up to this park. Of course, um, no health and safety in those days, no seat belts, everyone just piled in on top of each other. Uh, and then you, you drove up there, it was always, I always remember it was uh, sunny. Obviously, because you wouldn't go if it was raining. <laughs> but, um, as soon as my dad parked the car, we would all just pile out and uh, <laughs> just run into the park and just, uh, you know, we used to take a football up and like tennis rackets and we would just have the greatest time just being kids and because my dad had been working, he, he would just, he would bring a newspaper and he would just sit in the sun. <laughs> Let's run riot for <laughs> a couple of hours. But it was great fun. And we didn't take any food with us. <laughs> there was no picnic or anything or stuff like that. There was a, there was a stream. There was like a waterfall at, at at the gate of the park that you kind of had to walk through these rocks and waterfall, and then it, it op opened up into the big sort of grass area, the big play area where everybody kind of sat and had picnics and stuff. And uh, But there was a stream that ran through the park 
right through the middle of it. Not just a just a, a stream. It was maybe about I don't know about a foot deep or something. You know, not not deep at all. So you could play in the stream and paddle in the stream. And <laughs> I remember my dad used to just say, uh, "I used to say, can we get a drink?" He'd say, "Just drink the water out the stream." We'd be like, "But." Is it that not dirty? He's like, no, no, it came from the waterfall. It's as fresh as it comes out of the tub. <laughs> and so we'd be drinking the water, of course. All the dogs would be pissing in it and stuff. And we'd... Ah, the good old days. <laughs> Little did we know, eh? Well, it never done us any harm. <laughs> oh, great. Just when you think back on it now. And uh, there's so much, um, so much health and safety and stuff like that. It was just, I just didn't care. We were carefree. Yeah, drinking, <laughs> drinking the water from the stream that everybody had been paddling in and kids had been. <laughs> yeah, and it wasn't just us that done it. Everybody drank from the water. Maybe that's how the Scots are uh, such a, a crazy nation. They, they've all been contaminated from this. Uh, <laughs> from the water from that stream. Okay, second pass done. That feels fantastic, really nice, nice slickness. Okay, let me rinse and come back for pass number three. Okay. I'm feeling about here, there's really not much left to shave, but um, we'll go for another pass. Yeah, such good memories from that, um, from these uh, long summer days. And when we used to go back in the car, everyone eat, everyone would, would fall asleep. Like it took about 40 minutes to get home from where the park was. Um, but everybody would pile back in the car and uh, within sort of 10 minutes, everybody would be fast asleep because we'd been running about like absolute madmen or mad kids. <laughs> I was just thinking, I remember, um, there used to be like a church kind of outings and stuff at the weekends in this park. It used to be like big gatherings of people who went to church and Sunday school and stuff like that. <laughs> they'd, they'd have picnics and like big tables with sandwiches and my dad used to push us in, go and join the queue, you join the queue and bring us back a sandwich. <laughs> used to get to the front <laughs> and the guy would be like, who are you here with? Um, I'm friends with um, little Jimmy, little Jimmy that's um, over there. All right, okay, help yourself to sandwiches and stuff. <laughs> yeah, just uh, absolute bullshit. <laughs> Anything for some free food. childhood. Yeah, that used to be my uh, weekends. Probably from, from when I was about eight till I was about maybe 13 or 14. Then I discovered uh, girls and stuff. And, other things. Other things? <laughs> I don't know what that meant. But those weekends, just uh, with my dad and stuff. Great. Okay. Yeah, me and my sister still talk about that. You know, especially the bit about uh, joining the queue. Joining the queue for the, the church picnic. <laughs> and 
then he was, my dad was sending us back to get a sandwich for the dog. Go back and get one for the dog. <laughs> the dog would be like, yes, yes. Ham sandwich. <laughs> A little weepers here. That's okay. I'm not really concentrating on the. I'm talking to you guys. Feels great though. We have a rinse. Three passes done. I'll have a rinse uh, and a little feel about. Let's see. Great slickness. Really good. Yeah, under here. Just under there. That's it. Yeah, so, what are your plans? <laughs> Is anyone taking their kids to the park? <laughs> With the dog? Uh, your kids and friends, of course, it's different now. You'd probably be put in prison if you joined that queue to get a, a free sandwich. We have an imposter! We have an imposter! <laughs> It's a nice razor, this. Yeah, a couple of dots. It's cold water, we'll sort those out. I tell you what, people speak about uh, Dorco blades being uh, not very good. This one, excellent, really nice. Nice, close. Comfortable shave. Yeah, great slickness on that cream. Very nice. I'll do that. Excellent. Okay. Let's see how much uh, is left in this knot. Plenty, plenty. Very nice. Okay, you know the drill. I'll uh, wash my face with this cream. I'll leave it on. I'll rinse my gear out, clean it out. I'll uh, rinse this off with icy cold water. And then I'll see you for the post shave. Nice scent on this. Very nice. Nice shave. Okay, let's go on to the post shave. Uh, the Splash. I'm not sure if I've used any of these actually on uh, camera before. OSP, uh, the Obsessive Soap Perfectionist. And uh, sadly, James has uh, stopped making soaps and splashes just now. Um, he's taking a little break, so uh, concentrating on other things, life in general, I think. So um, yeah, there's quite still quite a bit in this. These have a very high alcohol content, so a good bit of burn when you splash these on, but they leave the face feeling fantastic. Uh, really, really good. Um, a nice little restrictor in there. So that's orange and patchouli. Whoa, what a burn. <laughs> but um, it dries in really quick because there's um, so much alcohol in there. Let's go for another one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, like it dries in really quick. But it feels great. Uh, I think there's, I don't think there's much ingredients in these actually. Let me have a look. Um, there you go. Alcohol, witch hazel, parfum. That's all there's in it. Yeah, very good, very very good stuff. Um, now the balm I'm going to put on, now just let me have a look, uh, Gordon Christie, yeah this is a, this this video has been a lot of shout outs to a lot of names but that's okay if people ask for stuff uh, that's fine, Gordon Christie said um, do you have this and I think it was sitting up there in the last shave, uh, I've seen Flashboard I'm using it, um, it's called G'day Mate, tested in the Outback post shave balm, uh, calming after shave, 
made with Australian natural extracts. Whatever that is. Kangaroo poo? I don't know. It smells, um, <laughs> I sound like a kangaroo poo. It smells a little bit like um, fizzy cola bottles. Um, yeah, it does. It smells like um, fizzy cola bottles, which is a, a sweet over here candy. You guys in the States would call it. Yeah, this is a very cheap balm as well. You get it in a place called um, Savers. I think it's a couple of pounds or something. Good stuff. Yeah, it does smell like cola. Just a little bit there. A bit dry. Yeah, there's that little thing that keeps opening up every shave. It's opened up again. But there we go. And that, ladies and gents, is today's shave. Very enjoyable. Um, good products. Let me show you what I've used. Uh, today's brush, today's shave brush, uh, asked for by Mick. Mick Allen was the Yaki uh, 24mm barber pole handle. T uh, tuxedo knot, it's a synthetic knot. Very nice, great brush. And we also used the, the, the Raki Yazer, the Raki Yazer, the Yaki Razor. Uh, with this is the, the one with the Grace Diamond Twinkle handle. What an awful name for a handle, the Grace, it's not very manly sounding is it? This is the Grace Diamond, Grace Diamond Twinkle handle. Very nice, nice long handle. Good uh, weight to it, double open comb, and inside that was a Dorco Titan blade, brand new, very good. Really enjoyed it, very mild, but um, it cut through the stubble, no problem, great. Uh, the soap or cream was from Bulgaria, Capo or Capo, classic. Uh, good stuff. Yeah, that was suggested by, I should use that, uh, let me tell you, uh, Chris Kelly, Chris Kelly. So. Thank you Chris, good stuff, good recommendation. Always uh, looking to try new things, good stuff. Uh, create the lather easy, three passes and pickups and a face wash, no problem. Uh, we then rinsed off with cold water, aftershave splash, OSP, the obsessive soap perfectionist, orange and patchouli, great stuff. And finished it off with um, this, asked for by Gordon Christie. Thank you Gordon, good recommendation, I like it. And there we have it. Yeah, there's a couple of little dots, but um, it's nice. It's a weekend shave. Face feels great. Very soft, nourished. Okay, ready for the weekend. Have yourselves a fantastic weekend. Thank you for all the comments, and uh, yeah, I've uh, I think I'm, I think I've answered most of them. I'm almost at seven thousand subscribers. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, I can't thank you all enough. Uh, keep this channel going. Uh, I've got some good ideas up here, but whether they materialise into there <laughs> is another story. But uh, have yourselves a fantastic weekend. Don't drink any water at the stream because it's uh, it's quite dangerous and you might end up like me and a few other people in Scotland, uh, some of my friends who are a bit... Um, yeah, I wonder if it was that water. Nah, it can't be. <laughs> You never know. Maybe it was the sandwiches from the, the church people. Maybe there was something in those that <laughs> sent us all a bit crazy. Uh, you never know. Okay, uh, that's all for me for today. Have yourselves a fantastic weekend. Enjoy it. Spend it with family. Uh, spend it with loved ones. Spend it with people that you haven't seen in a while. Um, yeah, send them a text and just uh, let them know you're thinking about them. Uh, and I will see you in the next shave. When that will be? Who knows? Okay, great chat to you and I will see you soon. Take care.